Hello YouTube and welcome to yet another video. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, in this channel I try to give some information regarding calisthenics and training with gymnastic rings in general. Note that I am still new regarding calisthenic training. Uh, I got introduced to it this past year and I've been really enjoying training that way. The best part about this training style is that you can literally train any way you want. As you guys can see, I'm out here in nature enjoying the good vibes while making some gains. So in this particular video, I did a push focused upper body routine with the rings. So in other words, I focused on my chest and shoulders a little bit today, while still giving some attention to my back and biceps. So before each workout, I really emphasize on my warm up because training on rings is really taxing on the body. That's why I like to make sure my body is primed and ready to get a juicy workout in. So to warm up, I tend to keep it simple. I do dynamic stretches for five to 10 minutes. After that, I do a movement called skin the cat. This movement may look dangerous at first, but it is actually quite good for you guys. It opens up your shoulders and it even helps with your posture and overall flexibility. So the first movement in this routine is called the iron cross pullout. This exercise works on your chest and shoulders heavily. Currently, I am nowhere near performing this exercise without touching the ground. But if you guys look closely, you can see that I am focusing on the negative part of this movement so I can build the strength uh, necessary to perform the full iron cross in the future. So in this clip right here, I decided to downgrade the difficulty of the exercise to get some more volume and overload my muscles. In here, I am doing an assisted iron cross pullout. I place my legs on the ground so they can assist me a little bit with this movement. So even this variation is a killer for your chest and shoulders, guys. Next up, I decided to work on my back width. Now, if you saw my recent videos, chances are you have already seen this movement. This exercise is called the front lever raise. So this is a lat isolation exercise. And to perform it correctly, guys, you need to keep your arms straight at all times. Your arms should not be assisting you in here. So you guys need to focus entirely on pulling with only your back. Next up, we got some more chest and shoulder work. In this clip, I decided to go for some archer push-ups. So in here, I focus on pushing with one arm at a time while maintaining my other arm straight. Now the straight arm isn't really doing anything. It's only assisting the pushing arm a little bit. This exercise will also help me unlock the one arm push-ups on the ring, which is an extremely advanced and sexy exercise. Next up, we got some more pushing to do. This exercise right here is called the baby making push-up. 
this exercise works on your chest and shoulders. I wanted to include it because it also happens to hit the upper chest. So after that last exercise, my chest was begging for a little break. That's why I decided to shift my focus towards my back. So this movement is called the advanced tuck lever row. This exercise is great if you guys want to have a thicker and fuller back. Great movement right here. After that, I worked on my shoulders some more with some handstand push-ups. Now in this clip, I couldn't even do 4 reps because your boy was exhausted as hell boys. That's why I decided to downgrade the difficulty of the movement to get some more reps in. So I did some elevated bike push-ups to finish off my shoulders completely. So to finish this whole routine, I worked on my biceps, I did 3 sets of pelican curls and that was pretty much it for the workout. So guys, if you enjoyed this quick routine that I put together, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.